Good day viewers, uh, welcome to another biology lesson. So right here with me, I've got a question that is coming from the topic excretion, specifically under the kidney. Okay, so uh, the question reads, the figure shows a section of the human kidney. So this is the figure that is labeled X, Y, and Z. Okay, question A, identify the blood vessels X and Y. Question B, state three materials that are likely to be present in the liquid which passes through the structure labeled what? Z. Question C, state the three processes that occur in the kidney during urine formation. Question D, mention the hormone that affects osmoregulation in the kidney. Question E, Suggest two methods of how a person with kidney failure may live a normal life. So these are the questions that I want us to go through. Okay. So we start with question A. Identify the blood vessels X and Y. So they want us to identify this X and Y. So X and Y are the blood vessels. Okay. So uh, the blood vessel X, the blood vessel labeled X, this is the the renal artery okay so we are say we have said this is the renal artery and this renal artery just carry um oxygenated blood to the kidney okay so this blood has to come from the iota then the renal artery will carry this oxygenated blood to the kidney then the blood vessel labeled y this is the renal then okay this is the renal vein and this uh, renal vein it just drains the oxygenated blood from the kidney then taking it to the vena cava so these are the answers to our question a we now move on to question uh, b question b reads state three materials that are likely to be present in the liquid which passes through the structure labeled Z. So this structure labeled Z right here, this is the ureter. Okay, so this is the ureter. So what materials, what materials are likely to pass or to be present in the liquid that passes through the ureter? So the liquid that passes through this ureter is urine. Okay, this is the liquid that will pass through the ureter, it's urine. So what uh, materials are contained in urine okay so the first thing we are going to have uh, water water is likely to be present in urine two sorts sorts are also likely to be present in what in urine uh, three we have uh, urea okay so under three we have urea so these are the three materials that are likely to be present in urine when it's passing through the, the ureter, okay? Water, salts, and the urea. So I hope we are moving together. We now come to question C. Question C reads, state the three processes that occur in the kidney during urine formation. So they want you to name three processes that take place during urine formation in the kidney so the three processes that takes place um, in the kidney during urine formation we have number one we have what we call ultra filtration okay we have what we call ultra filtration So this is ultra filtration. Number two, we have what we call selective. Selective reabsorption. Number three, we have what we call osmoregulation. So we have what we call osmoregulation sorry for that osmoregulation 
So these are the three processes that will be involved in the kidney during the formation of what? Urine. Ultrafiltration, selective reabsorption, and the osmoregulation. So we have answered our question C. Let us now move on to question D. So we've now come to question D right here. Mention the hormone that affects osmoregulation in the kidney. Mention the hormone that affects osmoregulation in the kidney. So here we have the hormone that affects osmoregulation in the kidney. And this hormone is called the antidiuretic water hormone. Okay. So we have this hormone. Anti antidiuretic hormone antidiuretic hormone okay or in short we can say a d h but don't write a d h just write the full name antidiuretic hormone so this hormone uh, is responsible to maintain the water levels in the in the body okay so this is our answer to question e, D. We now come to our last question, which is on question E. So question E right here, the question reads, suggest two methods of how a person with kidney failure may live a normal life. So uh, kidney failure is just a situation whereby either one of the kidneys of a person stops functioning properly or both of them, they stop functioning properly. So if you face such a scenario, what ways can a person with this situation live a normal life? So, number one, you find that uh, this person is going to have um, challenges, okay? He's going to have challenges of um, uh, pure blood, okay? Because the blood, the kidney is not really working properly, so the blood will be mixed with the, uh, these waste products. So, number one, regular purification of what? Of blood. So, number one, we have said a person will live a normal life through regular purification through regular purification of blood using 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 a dialysis machine okay so this is one way that a person who's having kidney failure may live a normal a normal life using regular purification of blood using a dialysis water machine so a dialysis machine will be used so that a blood will be purified so any person with kidney failure can use this uh, method okay so apart from this first method, remember they have said suggest two. The second one that we can use is uh, through use of what? Kidney transplant. Okay. So by performing, so you just say perform, perform kidney transplant. So kidney transplant is just a, uh, it's a, it's a it's a it's a surgery actually whereby a health kidney will be donated by a donor and be given to a patient who's suffering from kidney water failure so these are the two methods of how a person with kidney failure may live a normal life number one we have said uh, regular purification of blood using a dialysis machine number two perform kidney transplant so thank you so much. You've come to the end of our lesson. This has been your presenter, Mr. Mlenga. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.